Hey everybody, it's Shelby Shelby's Comics here with another mail call. Alright, so we got a couple of packages here. Uh, the first one is from my buddy Thunder God. I went ahead and tore it out of the package so y'all wouldn't have put up with that. And oh, I've been waiting for a couple of weeks for these. Alright, let's move that out of the way. Alright, first stack isn't anything too great i'll probably be passing these on they sold pretty cheap but it's just star wars books or the bounty hunters director's cut i like the director's cuts because it usually has uh scripts some of the original art things like that so yeah look through that aliens number one variant spider-verse number one and then a couple of high republic uh number one really cool yoda cover there and then uh, number three, doesn't look like that's a variant, just a regular cover. So yeah, I'll be passing those along. All right, now the ones I really wanted were these. So this is six very beautiful books. Oh, very nice. Nice Bronze Age books, Hulk 185. Admiral uh, Ross there and the Hulk killer robot uh, excellent grades excellent grades i paid a little bit for these with him I asked him to describe to me the grades and very accurate description if anything he probably uh, uh under described them a bit very very happy hey if y'all haven't checked it out on thursday's thunder gods channel uh i'll leave the link below an auction every thursday a bunch of us there i won't be there tonight this is Thursday because I'm going to see Shang-Chi. Yeah, check out the auction. You can pick up some great deals, great books. He, he, he always has some very high class books. Hulk 185, 186, 187, 188, 189, and then 190. Yeah, very happy to get all those in a nice little run there. Like I said, beautiful books. Thunder God is one of the good ones out there, guys and gals. Definitely someone y'all can trust. Okay, next up is, oh, kind of a bigger box here. Uh, comes from New Jersey. So again, I went and tore this open so y'all wouldn't have to deal with that. Got these from eBay. I uh, look like it's someone that, uh, if I remember right, hadn't sold very often, like, maybe he had bought a lot several really cool books the first is this from 1985 amazing heroes magazine very cool love the painted cover uh chris claremont 10 years with the mutants chris claremont tells all so just a very cool painted cover and an interview with chris claremont uh you know i collected this uh back in the day yeah it's just beautiful shape so this one uh very cool i've been wanting this for a while Comics interview number 25 with John Byrne. If y'all don't know about this, why this is important. Years ago, when John Byrne was trying to break into comics, he sent some submissions to Marvel in 1974. At that time, he figured people were looking for, uh, Fantastic Four was his favorite uh, comic. He figured they were maybe looking for people in the Kai Kirby style. So he didn't just submit a few images or anything. No, he submitted a whole original, uh, not really an original story, but a, a whole retelling the origins of the Fantastic Four. And this is too cool. There's the first page. Really, he encompasses that jack kirby style it's just you know amazing stuff especially if you're a john byrne fan like me definitely you know doesn't even look like I mean, it's got some burn touches but you know definitely he's trying to capture that kirby style and maybe this was kind of an original story now that i'm looking at it it's been a while since i've maybe kind of inspiration for his frankie ray story that 
came out years later when he went to work uh, doing the Fantastic Four. But anyway, just very cool. If you get a chance, pick this up. And, you know, like I said, I picked this up at pretty good price. Uh, I was just very happy to, you know, finally get that. I picked this up. This is another comics interview. And the reason why is it has interviews with uh, Larry Hama. And if you all know who Larry Hama is, he drew, and I think he also wrote uh, most of the G.I. Joe book. Amazing, amazing creator in the world of Marvel comics. Uh, I don't think he's gotten as much recognition as he should, but I was really interested in that. And it also has a interview with Joe Rubenstein, one of the more popular inkers from the 70s and 80s. So yeah, I was very happy to pick that up. This was real cool. This is a, I don't know the origin of this, but this is an art sale of Venom and Spider-Man. Whenever I say art sale, if you don't know what I'm talking about, right, it's clear. What they do is they overlay these with a painted background or something. A lot of the same backgrounds are used over and over in scenes. And so you don't have to redraw the whole background, you just draw the characters that are moving. I, I, like I said, I don't know anything about the origin of this or anything else, but when you see something interesting, the time to buy it is when you see it. This is a really cool set. This is from the 80s, late 80s, uh, Kitchen Sink Xenozoic Tales. It's just incredible. Um, number one, number two, Number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Really cool books. So give you a little bit of background with Xenozoic Tales. This was put out by a person called Mark Schultz. When it came out in the late 80s, it's very well received. It won four Harvey Awards, three Eisner Awards. Uh, it ended with issue 14, I only have up to issue 11. I think it ended mid uh, storyline. But it was picked up again by Marvel in 1990 under the title Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. And then it was picked up again in 1994 by Topps Comics uh, under the same name Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. And y'all may be familiar with that because it did spawn a pretty popular cartoon. I think it lasted two or three seasons. Um, so, but that's where it all began. That's where Cadillac and Dinosaurs began was with this, Xenozoic Tales. So Mark Schultz, really great stuff. All right, with that, I'm done. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell anytime you want to see other cool books and, and learn a little bit of history about, about them. Like I said, uh, please check out Thursday uh, Thunder God's channel for his auction. I'm say thank you all. Appreciate you tuning in. And remember, peace, love, and comics. Bye, all.